<coughs> now my name is Bushy John. Yes, I think the reason for the bushy must be fairly obvious by now. Um, <coughs> yes, my agent, Lisa Compass. Compass. No, I'm not working for any of your competitors. No, I do not have any other person putting in Melbourne or anywhere else. Um, uh, <coughs> just to, uh, uh, oh yes, um, um, oh yes, you want to know about a car. My experience is good. Well, I can tell you a scenario, I'll give you a scenario. Uh, a car can be a bit like a horse. If you've got a half-trained horse, uh, such as a Mustang or a Brumby, yes. You feed a little bit too much oats, well, it can result in a little bit of a problem for you. Well, not if you like a wild ride with a, uh, for an overly stimulated, overly excited horse, with the possibility of a left hanging, hanging somewhere on the side of a tree, or even worse, sitting on the ground, with a long walk home, which you may or may not enjoy, and then, of course, there's a possibility of ending up in hospital or in the doctor. Explain that to the seed and bees. Oh, good, no. Uh, hmm. Ah, oh, now we get the scenario of the car, yes. Cars, much the same. Uh, feed it a little bit too much octane. You're going to have a really wild and exciting ride, which you may or may not enjoy, uh, with a sudden stop at the end, uh, which can result in very grievous problems, such as ending up in hospital and having to explain this somewhat sticky situation to the constabulary, not to mention the cheese and veggies. Oh God, help me. I don't like that one. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, <clears throat> then of course I say, light on the octane, enjoy your ride, live long and prosper. Oh, and by the way, yes, I will be in Melbourne on the 2nd or 3rd, I think it was, of uh, March for the shift. Uh, that's providing I lay off the oats on the horse and the octane on the motor vehicle. Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>